<laughs> His latest movie is called 2020, The Dumpster Fire. But if you don't have a unifying narrative, you will disintegrate. And that's what's happened. Our narrative now is white people are bad and America sucks and be babies and be a victim and whine and scream and, you know, the, 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 the college will give you some Play-Doh to play with and an American flag to burn. I mean, that's really their default position. And so when you look at these crybaby drama queens and who they are, this is, this is where this is all going. They'll ruin your business. They'll ruin your life. They'll tell you how moral they are all day, but they're lazy. Absolutely evil. And we've allowed them to do it, so it's our fault. I'm Rod Weber, the guy who Alex Jones is trying to demonize. One thing he does get right is that you've got to understand narrative. America is a corporatocracy run by psychopaths, and those with wealth, fame, and political power will do anything and everything to hold on to it. Politicians are full of shit, media personalities are full of shit, and if you don't have piles of cash, you've got to use spectacle humor and trolling to call out bullshit. Now, the 2020 election was in full swing, so I set out to bear witness to the truth and call politicians out on their bullshit. I gave them one chance to be serious, and if they couldn't handle that, I was ready to make things weird. I do. Bible verse. Bible verse. What you it is noble to seek the office of overseer. However, he who does should be above reproach, sober-minded, not quarrelsome, only married once, and not a great lover of money. Oh, boy. <laughs> and will you take a flower for peace? That was me in 2015, and the stick was to get them to take a flower so that there would be peace over their presidency. I somehow had endeared myself to all kinds of political insiders who I had no business talking to. My hook was flowers and Bibles and prayers for peace. And my friend Vermin Supreme, the guy with the boot on his head, was of course the king of the hook. And Rod came up and he started working it uh, in his own way, his own fashion and interjecting and inter intercepting himself into politicians and presenting the flowers and asking the questions and asking them to pray with him. Um, and he was successful because he had a hook. It was different. He had a message. He was focused and and politicians will play along, especially in the New Hampshire primary, because pretty much they have no choice to. One person, one vote. F you, Trump. I'm in between the duck and Biden. It's a, it's a, I won. No brainer. I plan to build these islands and section them in such a way that we protect the interior of the seas. If you brush your teeth and you have PFAS chemicals in your water supply, it's just going to cause you to have cancer anyway. So um, what do you do? Do you brush your teeth and hope that you don't have cancer, or do you brush your teeth with bottled water at this point? Hello, who am I? Will Hello, tell me my who name. Am I will Hello, tell me my who name. am I? Hello. What is my game? I wish I knew what my name was. I wish I knew what. I wish I knew where the nude beach was. Hi, everybody. It's me, Vermin Supreme, the guy who runs the president with the rubber boot on his head.
health care is a human right, not a privilege. Yeah. And we are going to end the disgrace, and it is a disgrace, of being the only major country that does not guarantee health care to every man, woman, and child. Society is only as uh, healthy as its sickest member. You know, that sort of philosophy is what Bernie stands for. I'm mad. I'm sorry. I'm mad as hell about it, that we haven't gotten any further than we've got. I mean, Donald Trump obviously says crazy bullshit stuff. He's a fucking racist. We know this. He's a complete psychopath. Joe Biden's like a lesser extent of that. <laughs> Lauren was a thousand percent correct, and yet the DNC were hell-bent on promoting this corrupt screwball Biden as the guy who would stop Trump. At this very moment, you absolutely have zero reason to have faith in democracy. I'm not a nihilist, I'm just being honest. But that's because it is no longer the risk. They've been called out as, you know, as, as rigors, as electioneers since 2016. Their own people, Donna Brazil admitted it. Elizabeth Warren admitted it. Tom Perez admitted it on the Unity Tour. There's so much that went wrong in the 2016 election here that so many Democrats are upset about. Um, I mean, you can start with Donna Brazil, you know, given the, you know, the results of the debate to Clinton ahead of time. Uh, you can talk about Jared Beck and his lawsuit against the DNC and how they could make decisions in smoke-filled back rooms. What are you going to do you know, to, to convince all the people that were for Bernie. They, they, they wanted Bernie, but the, they just weren't ever going to do Clinton. Uh, how are you going to get past that hurdle and, and make sure the DNC doesn't mess it up like they did last time? Thank you. Tulsi didn't answer the question, so let's just jump right into Joe Biden's background. Why attack Sanders? Why, 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 you're getting nervous, man. Biden is facing sharp criticism for recalling his work with two staunch segregationists. Somebody running to be the leader of our party should know that using the word boy in the way he did uh, can cause hurt and pain. To coddle the reputations of segregationists, of people who, if they had their way, I would literally not be standing here as a member of the United States Senate. He did the crying bill. He voted to deregulate Wall Street. He voted for the Iraq war. He did Libya, the bankruptcy bill. The surveillance state is because of him. One of the changes, though, sought by the president, but not included by my friend from Utah in his bill, is to allow emergency wiretaps. This is a legislation which became the Patriot Act, which Joe Biden bragged about writing on many occasions. It has led to the mass surveillance state, and as I know from personal experience, the FBI can simply label you a terrorist and burst into your home without a warrant. And we have freely given away our rights, and we're now to a point where we need to speak truth to power. You know, we need to boldly highlight things like the president's complicity to, you know, Jeffrey Epstein. You know, why aren't we still talking about that? Like, why aren't we talking about World Trade Center 7? Uh, we have never had anything like this in American history. It's hard to find examples in world history, if there are any. But I think if for some reason, we overcome all the gerrymandering and the interstate cross-checking and um, the militia nuts with gigantic tricked out guns showing up at polling places to check for so-called vote fraud so they can, you know, have the real vote fraud and everything. If somehow, you know, that seal of Biden gets in anyway, um, Blowtorch up the ass the whole time. When I say zombie, you say power. Zombie! Power. Zombie! Power. Zombie! Power. Thank you. Hey, hey Bernie. Hey. How's it going? Hey. Great to see you. Notice that Bernie shook people's hands, but Biden acted as if the press were Martians and so pretended to be on the phone. Mr. President, do you have time for a question? Our system's hopelessly broken. Who broke it more, the Republicans or the Democrats? What, we're not doing the First Amendment anymore? The rule was respect in return for respect. And if not, I'd pick out a space helmet to spice things up. But Biden's rallies were overrun with Trumpers and pedophile hunters. So I decided to stand back and observe before going full tilt weird. I like Donald Trump because he's going after Washington. 
I want Joe to run. Oh, to run. On the Democrat ticket. Because Trump will beat him so many ways you can't imagine. It'll be a landslide. Look up Joe Biden Grove kids. This is not a Trump rally. I hate Trump, but you touch kids on video and woman. We don't need another old white man running for president. It's time that a minority stepped up. You don't touch kids ever again. Don't touch kids, you pervert. Look it up. Joe Biden, creepy Uncle Biden. Look it up. It's right there. All right. Well, you know, this, 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 this is a democracy. Trump is going to come up, buddy. Oh, I hope it does. I hope it does. Let her go. Let her go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. How much money did you make in Ukraine with your son? Uh, How much? Is that all you got, Cal? Well, wait, 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 wait. I released 20 years, 21 years of my tax returns. Your guy hasn't released one. What's he hiding? So this is my second time confronting Joe Biden. I have a YouTube channel, YouTube forward slash Demand the Truth. I have a show on there as well. I do a lot of interviews, but I also do a lot of confrontations. I've confronted Hillary about, uh, and Bill multiple times about what they've done in the Epstein Express. And so I just came up here today and wanted to ask him why he thinks it's okay to run for president while he's talking about six and eight year olds while he's groping six and eight year olds. We're at this uh, Trump rally in Manchester, New Hampshire here. Here we go. <laughs> if you look around here, the president is getting the following like a rock star. Let's go, let's pound it. Let's All right, go. here we go. <laughs> conspiracy theory but you know they works with Trump and stuff and that's why I have my Q shirt on right here what's up guys go to infowarsore.com right now buy some really good supplements buy some t-shirts buy some bumper stickers we got to defeat the globalists like the person holding the camera right now ultimate male vitality supplement when it's creamy and thick I think better than Ovaltine you can type in refugees spreading disease I mean the CDC is going crazy right now <laughs> I like being as feminine as the next guy, and that you know that's why you I. Like being feminine? That, that's why I take the. <laughs> that's why I feed. That's why I take all the fetuses that Donald Trump gives me, and I feed on them, and I, I sell them to Joe Rogan, who uses it for Joe Rogan super uh, male vitality. What is something good Trump has done so far? Uh, he's given um, a ferrets a good place to live on top of his head. Oh, wait, wait, what, what? Is, is rumor the, let's hear this. Is the poop pants rumor true? Do you want it to be true? That's, uh, whoa, hey, that's Are you weird. Into that? That's Are you, weird. I'm not. Are you into that? Uh, Are you into that? Hey, listen. Oh my God, did you just ask me? I am a thin okay, so man who I've only eats really vegan food. So I get very confused when it comes to the things that come out. I know, I know that the only way to go Why forward is by taking pony wife. poop and converting it shit. into methane. What? We need to convert uh, per, pony poop into methane. That's okay. that's the thing that's you watch, move you the watch the people fuck your wife. Absolutely. What are you? Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. What we want to do is oh, bring man. forward. I'm a super jealous guy. I couldn't imagine I heard it being okay with other people. people. Hey, Ryan, I, I think, I think uh, you should talk to the, the man with the, the Oh my God, that's disgusting. Where's your gun? Hey, gun girl. Where's your gun? Where's your gun? Show us your gun. Don't I want your gun. gun. Where's your gun? Your gun was so you nice. Your gun was so big. I want your gun. And more than life, it's fucking sell. What if I could suck his cock, yeah. 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 like a yeah. you suck Trump's cock? Yeah. 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 yeah! Suck cock! Suck Trump's 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 cock! You know, there's a lot of a fine tradition of trolling for a cause throughout history. Um, 
in terms of, you know, ancient Greece, we had Diogenes, we had, and in France, we had Voltaire with satire. It's all within that, that realm of, hey, we're calling out the bullshit that is part of the system that we're living under. Um, and I think that when you do troll, make sure to punch up. To the extent that one can, can ask an honest question or even a dishonest question uh, and elicit a response that enlightens the public further by virtue of the response being crazy or silly or underwhelming or whatever, I think that is a great example of ethical trolling at its best. Remember the guy who confronted the Clintons about Jeffrey Epstein without a whisper of Epstein's connections to Trump? Suddenly, it wasn't just YouTubers. The mainstream had taken an interest. So I decided to elicit a response to enlighten the public further. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Epstein Didn't Kill Himself Weber. Uh, I'm here to uh, declare and uh, register uh, my candidacy uh, for President of the United States. Uh, I have been uh, uh, running on and off uh, for a good amount of time. I came here in 2015 uh, when Mr. Gardner uh, turned me away, illegally, I might add. Um, you can go by any nickname you want, uh, just like John Ellis Bush is Jeb Bush, just like Rocky De La Fuente came here. His real name is Rocky. And everybody else that has come in has filed with their name. You want to be something other than what everybody else is, and that's not appropriate. So you can come back to do it. You're lawfully telling me to go. I will look. I will leave. Let me gather my belongings, sir. I am, of course, the only candidate uh, will who will open the case uh, about Epstein or reopen it, I should say, as well as the Kennedy assassination and 9/11. We all know Building Seven didn't just fall on its own. Also filing today is a candidate looking to stay on top, former Vice President Joe Biden. And so if you give me the nomination, I promise you, we're not only gonna beat him, I'm gonna beat him like a drum. Mr. Biden, will you look into uh, the uh, murder of Jeffrey Epstein? Mr. Biden, we open the commission on 9-11 once again. How about the murder of John F. Kennedy? I'm campaigning. Can I get my campaign signed, sir? Okay, so why can't I campaign, but Joe Biden can? Right up, because you're disrupting the state house right now. I love your policy of investigating Epstein. I love your Epstein policy. As we all know, Joe Biden's only policies have been the Patriot Act, the crime bill, and plagiarizing speeches. But rather than let it get me down, I just kept coming back with piles of money. Because let's face it, that's how all of this works. So no, I do believe we have to ban money from politics. And then and the Democrats say, oh, ban big money from politics. No. Ban money from politics. He hasn't given away any money here. Come on down. I'm crazy, Vermin. I'm just giving it away. Just giving it away. Mr. Yeah. Okay, Vermin. Thank you, though. I mean, this is real dollars. I should get these. Literally real dollars. Hey, what are you gonna do when they show you this Bruder film? What's gonna happen? Uh, you know, when they ask you to start a war? Whose kids have to die? Thank you. All right. How many dollars are they worth, Andy? That's my trick. The, the CIA takes them all down into the basement, man. You gotta watch that Subruder film. Free money! Free money! Woo! Oh, baby, we just made it rain. I was just showering Andrew Yang with all that sweet, sweet freedom dollars. Don't think we troll just Democrats. I spent most of 2020 as a pro se attorney in my civil suit against Donald Trump. Boring AF. So I bought myself a Trump hat and went deep undercover. Why do they come up with Biden? Are you telling me that there's no Democrat in the universe? <laughs> well, obviously, could... all right. So you, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the real deal. They're subservient to uh, satanic cabals and pedophile rings. Uh, they do all this stuff in conjunction with Jeffrey Epstein, where they get uh, one uh, politician to sleep with a, w a young woman. And then that, uh, that gives you a, a power hold over a next set of people. And then you can blackmail them into doing what you need to do. There's been 17 credible rape allegations against Donald Trump, the man, and somehow he gets away with it because he's brilliant. He is brilliant. And I, my question for you is, how do you think he gets away with it? Who? <laughs> Run for
unfortunately, I am at yet another Donald Trump rally. But today, I'm running as Epstein didn't kill himself and trying to get the support of MAGA heads. Jeffrey Epstein, the convicted pedophile, uh, who uh, some rumor that uh, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump killed. I know who did. You know who killed him? Yeah. Who? Hillary Clinton. Clinton Foundation took care of that. Hillary did. Best sign ever. You have my support, man. Let me take a picture of that. Yeah, you should do that. I, I, I support that. I'm going to be the new VP. Will you write me in? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. I don't know it all, but I do know this much. I actually met Epstein once. Oh, did you really? Uh, so I'm running as Epstein didn't kill himself, Weber. And I figure if I do a good enough job and enough people write me in, Donald Trump will make me his vice president. <laughs> okay, well, we are live on Patriot Soapbox. We also follow Q News and all kinds of news. QAnon is that conservative fever dream that all lefties are pedophiles and Satanists, controlled by the Clintons, conveniently forgetting that Trump was besties with Jeffrey Epstein and the Q website was overrun with child pornography. What are your stances on gun control and all that stuff? Uh, you QAnon people got to get your shit together. That said, people should be able to have anything that the government has. If, if the government has guns or tanks or lasers, uh, the people should be able to have it too. Uh, certainly, we don't want people going around lasering you in the face, but that's why I have a plan that everyone will get a government-issued force field. We are run by a literal pedophile ring. We need to bring back the guillotine, make the guillotine great again, line up these fucking pedo motherfuckers that are running our country, and just cut their heads off and start again. I'm Epstein didn't kill himself, Weber. <laughs> I was thinking about voting for you anyway. <laughs> right, yes. You gonna write me in? All right. Uh, if you vote for me, I will be the only candidate uh, who will make sure that the investigation is opened into the death of Jeffrey Epstein, as well as JFK, 9-11, and Bigfoot. So why are you here today? To advocate for that? I'm running for president. Meanwhile, the establishment was doing important stories about Warren's selfie line. I'm just going to get your picture taken with the scar. But specifically, I mean, I'm just, our story's about the selfie line. Uh, really? Yeah. Really? I know. She uh, does not want her picture yes. taken with me? So, uh, <laughs> she asked us to relay that to you. So you just, uh, you can wait out here, you can wait in there, you can do But she won't want, take but she it with me. <laughs> So as long as you oh. understand. Oh, yeah. That's I, all. I guess there's no First Amendment right to selfies with other politicians. No. <laughs> or is no. there? No, I think, I, think, I think you understand the First Amendment pretty well. And that's probably not covered. Who's going to win? It could be Vermin Supreme. Excuse me, sir. Senator Warren, where sir. Do, you, do you support the weather domes or interstate roller coaster? Sir. Senator Warren. Senator Warren, what about the ponies? What about the ponies? Senator, what about the mandatory toothbrush laws? Senator Warren, Senator Warren. The interstate roller coaster. I'm proud man on a hundred thousand selfies. I was on Trevor Noah's show once. I live right by the river. I meet families every day in the selfie lines. You're not the only one who does selfies, Senator. When you do 100,000 selfies with people... I've done thousands of them. Those selfies cost nobody anything. Do the math on that. I we won! won! Victory yeah! is mine! Victory is sweet! Follow me, friends, to victory! Yeah! Obviously, becoming president... I think uh, that would be delusional to even entertain the idea that it's a possibility. However, uh, pre presenting the message, continuing to uh, push it forward and push this uh, absurdity uh, and this confrontational uh, critique of the system. The problem is anyone who criticizes the system too loudly can expect to get in trouble with the system. And because I do, Vermin is about to film one of my many arrests and encounters with law enforcement. He's in custody. Yes, he's in custody right now. <laughs> he's in handcuffs. He's is, being tased is, right now. Is, Guard is, dogs are is, biting is his crotch. Custody. These 
These are pages from Epstein's Little Black Book. They were first obtained by the website Gawker. They show numerous entries for the rich and famous. Donald Trump, actor Alec Baldwin, and singer Courtney Love. Some Italian artist duct tape a banana to a wall and then somebody else bought it for $120,000. And that was a big story. And then some performance artists ate it. And that was another big story. And then our good old friend of the show, Rod Weber, shows up and uh, writes on the now blank wall, Epstein didn't kill himself. Just doing a little art. Can we please stop? Oh, uh, why should I? Okay, I mean, the police come in a couple of cases. So. Oh, well, they've set precedent here. Okay, very well. Right? I mean, th this is the gallery where anyone can do art, right? D twenty four. Banana boost, Scott. Can I play? You have to really. D twenty four, the banana boost. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can I finish with my piece? Can I introduce please. myself? No. Well, I mean, you've kind of set precedent here. Yeah, um, if, if, but it's, a, it's not an open if, free fall. Oh, it's not. No. Uh, you didn't press charges this on David, boost, right? This is Why would we? Oh, okay. But I'm pressing charges on you either. We're just asking you to not damage the artwork that's Oh, okay, if that's... Thank you. All right. Okay. My name is uh, Epstein Didn't Kill Himself, Weber. Nice place, sir. Excuse us. Very nice name. Thank you, thank you. You got some identification on you, sir? You betcha. Could I see it, please? Uh, I doubt it. Who are you? I'm the head of security. I'm Rod Weber. Nice yeah, to meet I really you. Don't want to do that, Rod, with your hands like that. Are. Fair enough. Then they got arrested, I guess, removed, and security guards in what may be the most epic real life performance art I have ever seen. I mean this, mean this with all sincerity. The security guards then came in and covered up Epstein didn't kill himself. Truly really one of the most epic and glorious moments in our generation, in our lives, in history maybe. It was just such a perfect storm. Running for president, Epstein didn't kill himself, 2020. Uh, I'm not being arrested. Back in New Hampshire, the news of the day was CNN changing the rules to keep Tulsi off the debate stage. In a democracy, you'd think there would be outrage. But think again, because not only was the media full of shit, so were all the politicians. If we win big, then we take back the Senate, we get these things done that are so important to the progressive cause. Um, so I just view us as a one big tent, and that's how you could see me on the debate stage. I'm literally friends with the other people up there. How do you feel about them keeping Tulsi off the debate stage by changing the rules at the last minute? No? There's a lot of uh, uh, industry in dialing up the outrage and fear about our, uh, about our systems, and I totally under, understand it. Uh, between the 2016 primary and the Iowa caucus, which many people are seeing both to be botched, or at least that's the way they feel, regardless of who wins, how can we restore faith to the electorate that there's actually a DNC that's going to do what's right for the people? <laughs> Look, my job in this is to be a candidate, not to be the DNC. Yes, I, just, I, familiar. I, just, I just wanted to say, if CNN smoked more weed with Jimmy Dore, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They'd be making better life choices. They'd be making better life choices and they'd let you on the debate. Yeah. So uh, Tulsi being kept out of CNN, it's obvious they're not colluding with the DNC or the Democratic establishment. And I think it's another sign that not only is democracy alive, but it's thriving. I mean, it's a... I see. I don't understand how there aren't yellow vests in the street already. I mean, what? How much more do you have to be shown that the oligarchs are screwing you, and they're doing it right out in the open? They're doing it through their media, and they're doing it through every, uh, social media. Now they're taking down. They're going back purging people on social media. Uh, it's getting, you know, it's. It's getting not good. Mayor Pete Buttigieg actually popped up on the screen here. People in the crowd started booing him, and they started chanting Wall Street Pete. Why the outroar? Well, after the 2016 leaks showed that DNC had rigged the primaries against Sanders, it was revealed that Pete paid $42,000 to Shadow Inc., an app used to tabulate the Iowa caucuses. Pete declared victory over Sanders despite results showing a virtual tie. And while Pete's unethical and possibly criminal behavior was boring mainstream journalists like John Heilman to sleep, the people wanted answers. 
there was only one solution. Out comes the helmet. Since the Venusians rigged the election, do you think it'll sway to the Martians? Yeah, uh, probably. Is this a threat to democracy, sir? <laughs> I'm still learning a little bit more of the details of what happened yesterday. Someone said that there are paper records, but the app was failing. It wasn't quite time to vote, so I conducted an online poll to see what concerns people had about the mayor. Topping the list were his ties to the CIA, his poor relationship with the black community as mayor, creating homeless people and kicking them out of their camps, and using the shadow app to rig Iowa. Mayor Pete, when are you going to address the Venusian host housing crisis? They're using the shadow app in order to get the homeless people off the street. Is there something you can do about that, Mayor Pete? Please address the issue for us. Will you address the, the shadow app? What? What is it, ma'am? You you're blocking the car. Oh, oh I see. Car. You want me to move? No, you're right here. Are you giving me an order? I'm giving you an order. Okay, I'm happy to I'm move. Giving you an order. Will you get your hands off of me? No, you're assaulting I'm not. me. I am not assaulting you're assaulting you. me, ma'am. I'm moving you along. All you have to do right, is tell right, me right, to go. You right. don't have to touch me, ma'am. Stay right here. There's a good touch and there's a bad touch, ma'am. You gave me a bad touch, ma'am. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Sir. Yep, sir. Joe Biden! Sir. Hey, Joe Biden! Sir. The Venusians have read the election and it's go to the may Martians. I, what is your authority, sir? This is going to create a cold, total corruption of democracy. How can people have faith when the shadow app is being by, used by the Venusians to sway democracy, sir? Joe Biden! Go get him! Joe Biden, what you hiding, Joe Biden? Joe Biden, what you hiding, Joe Biden? When, when people start promoting conspiracy theories, they lose me. Uh, it's all very suspicious. It wasn't one campaign somehow manipulating numbers. Now you look at what's come out afterwards. They've been pretty incompetent for a long time. So I'm here with uh, Bernie Sanders. Behind me is Lord Buckethead. Lord Buckethead and Bernie Sanders. Hey, Bernie. Seems like a nice hey, guy. Bernie, look, it's Bernie. Uh, Bernie's who's, who's going to help Lord Buckethead uh, ascend to galactic prominence and, and really set everything straight. I think it's going to happen. All right, how's it going? Great, it's Sanders. What do you say? Mayor Pete, all the way. Boop, edges, boop, boop, edges. Thank you. Bernie, if he was the nominee? I would have a harder time making a decision. That, that staff over there? Oh, yeah, I was hoping he'd win last time. Somebody I know you're not going to give me your endorsement, but would I be second choice after Bernie Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> there are no second choices this year. Oh, well, we're not oh, the New York Times where we endorse two people. We only get one vote. That's it. <laughs> 
Pete, is your faction of the CIA more powerful than Donald Trump's faction of the CIA? Will you use the Grinder app to defeat Shadow Inc? Are you going to release the JFK files and the 9-11 tapes? I'm the only presidential candidate investigating Jeffrey Epstein's death. Why won't you debate me? Come back, Mayor Pete. I want to smother you in mayo. Let's go. Senator Warren, can I ask a question? Why do you refuse to take pictures with Vermin Supreme? What happened to decorum, Liz? What happened to decorum? This wasn't the first time decorum had come up on the campaign trail. Vermin and I had used humor as a tactic, but we were also seriously fighting the court against an obscure New Hampshire law, which Trump used against me in court, claiming unlicensed security guards could use deadly force to maintain so-called decorum. In fact, I can name myself a security guy, and I can kill you and you and you, and I can kill all of you to maintain decorum according to these laws together. You expect this shit from Trump, but God damn it, suddenly Elizabeth Warren was also using extreme measures to try to keep us down in the name of decorum. Can you just stand on the sidewalk and assist you there? So you know, I got my body camera on, so I don't know if recording. Oh, well, I am too, right. so we're all even. You understand this is totally under your cooperation, oh, everyone being cooperative here. Why are you following Elizabeth Warren? Uh, I'm a documentarian. I'm making a documentary of the election. Okay. I was trying to get to the next event. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's a standard tradition that's happened for decades. Is, is, is Mr. Weber being detained, sir? Yeah, he is being detained. Good job, Urban. Step Thank back more. Thank you very much, sir. Please, I'd like to report a, a car theft. Rod Weber's car is being stolen. I'm stealing my car. The press is no longer free. Okay. Any questions for me? Um, did we have to do this? Do what? Joe Biden wrote the Patriot Act. Sorry, sir. Can we, can we just now going? we're all screwed. There's nothing to do. Joe Biden works with segregationists now we're all screwed there's nothing to do we're all screwed joe biden is bringing us down the big hill we're all going down joe biden who wrote the patriot act now we're all Country is screwed. Country is screwed. Joe Biden wrote the Patriot Act. Now we're all screwed. Goodbye, Joe. We love you. We love you all. And I hope you continue screwing America because America loves being screwed. By you! It was inexplicable that the establishment was pushing Joe Biden when crowds were even more indifferent to him than they were to Hillary Clinton. But I had to remind myself they were pushing Joe Biden because he was a company man. Hopefully, the media would ignore the fact that Buttigieg had lines for literal miles. And Joe Biden had nothing. But here we are. This is the adult in the room. This is the guy is really smart. He's dynamic. He'll grow. He's in the prime of his life as opposed to the end of it. And I think a lot of people are going to think Bernie Sanders is 78 years old. He's the first gay candidate to run for president. So as a gay man in my mid-50s, Pete is living my best life right now. 
obviously to me, black Amer that black issues are really important to me. And Pete has been someone who has shown that he is not capable of handling these issues in the way that they should be handled. And I just feel like if he cannot handle race relations in his own city, the only really thing that he's had any true experience and responsibility of, how can he be trusted to handle race relations in a country that has been destroyed almost and just constantly kind of conflicted with these types of issues? And that's just something I don't, I just don't, I hope he does not get the nomination. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg, is that you? Mayor Pete, your boy is charm, and your Wall Street ambition like Michelangelo has set my heart aflutter. Oh, you shameless suckling out the teeth of Big Pharma and the military industrial apparatus is truly awe-inspiring. How I would caress that apparatus, Pete. Oh, you know I sure would. The empty vessel which stands before me, I would ravage in unspeakable ways financially and sexually. Your willingness to exploit disinformation and screw the American public like only a soulless vampire can makes me moist in the naughty bits. Oh, Mayor Pete, you're such a sex beast. I can't wait for you to be president. We're here at an Elizabeth Warren event in Charleston, South Carolina. I can't hold back my excitement space credentials here it makes it all real oh. it's all real it's all coming together that's the way to do it just like your paper you write it down on a piece of paper and you're documentarian your press it feels like it's a lot of white folks who are standing next to a cool black guy for legitimacy do you think that's effective are you coming for elizabeth warren yes have you thought about the imminent threat of space meteoroids i'm not i have not have you thought about meteor attack are you undecided i'm uh, impressed Ah, well, I'm running for space president, and I'm the only candidate, and Elizabeth Warren's not doing this, that has a plan for meteor attack and will open investigations to the death of Sandra Bland and Michael Brown. She also doesn't care about Flint's clean drinking water. I agree. Couldn't agree more. What, what are you going to do about space meteors? Think I've about got lasers. It. Elizabeth Warren hasn't thought it through. We do not allow folks with costumes, um, noise it's not a costume, or it's a uniform. They let the kids know okay. this, then. Elizabeth Warren can't take questions from an adult, but she'll she'll let in a kid. Are you guys space journalists too? Back on the other side of Charleston, I went to see Mayor Pete again. Again, he sent cops so he wouldn't have to answer questions. And that's when I decided to turn the tables. So what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Have you been drinking there? I see you got a little cup there. Coffee. Uh, do you have any drugs on you? Or, Why do you have any? I have drugs on me. Well, uh, that's uh, known to happen uh, with you uh, police types. Well, uh, do you have any uh, illegal firearms with you? That's not very polite. No, but um, are you? Are do you, you have any illegal firearms on you? Of course not. Of course not. Are you sure? Uh, can I pat I, you down? If you touch me, then I'm, I'm asking a, your consent. No, I'm not. I'm not giving you consent. Okay. I'm not asking your consent. I'm asking oh, why are you standing in front of this dude's vehicle. And I'm asking you if you have any illegal firearms or illegal drugs on you. Congratulations. You can ask all day. Step over here. here you go. Nice, He's done with me. Thanks so much for that. Hey, Mayor Pete. You're going to... Uh, Mayor Pete, will you free Julian Assange? You never oh, got yeah. a thumbs up or a heart, did I? I like this whole mic. Yeah, you're getting a lot of laughs. I should do stand up. Yeah. Are you good? I, I feel like I'm all right at the Except moment. A I'm a little bit intimidated by uh, all your firearms and illegal drug use. Uh, but again, you didn't let me pat down. Again? What? You didn't, you didn't let me pat you down. Do I, I have to make that assumption. No, you don't have to. I haven't made that assumption about you. <sighs> And you say well, cops do that. Here we go again. You, I mean, you know that statistically speaking, you go off and you kind of you pop pop the trigger a little much. That's a little Not harsh. Good. Statistically speaking, Not I, my I, statistics. I, I mean, FBI.gov, you know, says it right there in black Not and white. You can go up on their on their page. Not my statistics. Yeah, I don't know. Actually. No, why would I believe the FBI? But I'm just saying, according to, uh, you know, your buddies. Laugh, laugh. Trump's winning too. Sounds good. That is both. Who, who would win, Trump or Jesus, in an election? Jesus will win the election, but then he'll he'll have um, what is Trump it? and be his vice president. Who would win, Trump or Jesus? Trump. Jesus and Trump. Jesus or Trump. If there was an election tomorrow between Trump and Jesus, who would win? Jesus! Right. Jesus! Jesus inside of Trump. Jesus, man. Is that baby Jesus or big Jesus? <laughs> I was thinking big Jesus, Jesus. but... Wouldn't vote for either of them. God bless you, sir. You mind if I say a quick prayer for you? Sure. 
Well, Father God, what's your name? Rod. I just, Rod? Uh -huh. I just lift up Brother Rod to you right now, Lord. Strengthen him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, O oh God. Fill him up with your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Allow him to fulfill the plan and the destiny that you have called him to do in his ministry, O oh God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, God bless you there. So, so here's the question. Yeah. What do you think about people saying that Trump is like God? Well, it's crazy. That's why I'm asking the question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is a back of house arrival, and so all press has to move to credentialed space. Again, this is a public space. But Sh we're... Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so a real come on is everyone. I say, fire it up, and you say, ready for job. Ready? Fire it up. Ready for job. Fire it up. Ready for job. Fire it up. Ready for job. Okay. What's another going on? Press. I'm press. Where's your credentials? Where's your credentials? You don't need credentials for press. Is this is this Nazi Germany or is this the United States, dude? Let's go, You wrote the Patriot Act, ushering in a thousand years of George Orwell, huh? How does that feel? How does that feel? No hard questions. You have security come over, muscle people. Forget about the First Amendment, right? How about all those people rotting in Guantanamo Bay? Shouldn't there be a transparent trial for the greatest crime? In Let's go, Joe! Right, I get it. You don't care. I get it. South Carolina was delightful, but I almost forgot to mention that in the middle of all that, I put on my lawyer hat and won my Art Basel case in Florida, representing myself. Art has prevailed. But within days, Palm Beach police issued a new warrant for my arrest. Within days of that, Donald Trump was on the news contradicting himself about COVID-19, a.k.a. coronavirus. Months ahead of the 2020 national election, President Trump is under fire for the way he's handled the coronavirus outbreak in the U.S. The coronavirus. This is their new hoax. We have it totally under control. Priorities USA, a Democratic super PAC, is running an attack ad in key battleground states such as Florida, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. The Trump campaign is so unhappy, it sent out cease and desist letters to local television stations in an effort to get the ad knocked off the air. We really think we've done a great job in keeping it down to a minimum. I like this stuff. I really get it. People are surprised if I understand it. No, I don't take responsibility at all. We started seeing, um, we saw Ahmed Arbery get murdered. We saw Casey Cooper get harassed by a white woman who threatened to call the police on him um, in Central Park. And then we had George Floyd. Now everything blows up because we basically said we had enough is enough. And then we started hitting the streets after months of saying we can't hit the streets. And I tell people all the time, the reason why we hit the streets is the same reason why we didn't hit the streets months prior. We were afraid for our lives and we were looking out for each other. The same rule applied. And look who we had to deal with. The same folks who came out there saying that they were fighting for our freedom when they were telling us not to wear a mask and all that are now in our face trying to say that they're fighting for freedom by keeping us from not being killed by the police. <clears throat> Defund the police because the current structure of police does not work. Admittedly, COVID and the lockdowns threw a wrench in my plans to troll the presidential election. But George Floyd was dead and Minneapolis was burning. So it was time to put all that aside and get serious. Aside from humor, spectacle, and trolling, there was one other force for good in my toolkit, live streaming. Oh, please. Burn this motherfucker down. Burn it down. 
Again, we are in Minneapolis right now. The city is burning. George Floyd, he couldn't breathe, man. Blessings to George Floyd and his family, bro. We not for none of this bullshit. He could have let him up, put him in the police car, took him to jail. But instead, he gave him death. And what, what warrants death for him being on the stomach, being in the handcuffs? Why did that warrant death? Why does compliance warrant death? Why does out there selling cigarettes warrant death? Why are we t wasting tax dollars to, to, to train these suckers but something they know damn well they shouldn't be doing anyway. They are the biggest gangbangers, the biggest cartel, the biggest serial killers. You know, it's a fine line between a cop and a fucking criminal. All them boys have crossed the line. So it is May 29th and the National Guard and a massive militarized police force are out. They claim to be here to prevent property damage, yet in many cases actually stop residents from saving their belongings. Uh, if you look down this way, you can kind of see the fire truck spraying down the buildings in the distance. So in actuality, you got all these stormtroopers here standing around to say that they're here to help, but it's actually the community without the aid of the government who have come together to begin to clean up and assist each other through mutual aid. And even those who lost their homes still support George Floyd. This is 400 years in the making. Can you tell me what's going on here? So there were donations uh, that were asked for on Facebook here and they just overflowed. The community has overflowed and just been so amazing and brought so much. Um, and right now it's just kind of like a free for all, take what you need. Food. If they catch them stealing some food for their kid, they have to die. Now they have to, now their child, now their child has to have the fucking story of how their mom or how their dad had to go out and get some bread and milk and die because Trump said if you loot, they gonna shoot. Everybody thought the war. They said something about Kelly Kaepernick disrespecting the flag, but he told you, he warned you. When are y'all gonna listen to us African Americans? When are you gonna say we people? And now, think of this. We got a white officer with a black man who's taking a knee on the black man's neck. Look, the most important thing that we're going to do is protect your freedom. Well, how can you protect our freedom when our kids are dying because of their colors? Ma'am, I have a job, right? I have a job. But you're here to protect. You're here to protect and serve. They've been serving, not protecting us. Look, I'm not going to throw my trash on the ground. All I can do is look at what the ripple is. No, you can't. You don't just have to listen. You can do something. You guys can put a stop to all of these. I have been telling him that all day. For the time being, it looks like the police have completely uh, seated the, the half of the town. All this stuff here that was burned out yesterday, they're moving past that. We want justice! We want justice! We want justice! We want By day four, tensions were rising. Law enforcement had gone from rubber bullets to loaded weapons. By the end of the night, we were dodging bullets and police fans were used to deploy flashbacks. You just 
pulled a real gun on him? You pulled a real gun? Holy shit. Just shot me, I ain't do shit. I was standing there. Just shot me because we had the right to protest. Yeah, it's gonna catch fire. Yeah. Whoa. Oh shit, 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 shit. Holy shit. That guy's shooting a real gun. Guy in the pickup truck. What is this his car? This is his car, he said, I think. Don't let go! 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 Don't let Holy shit. Holy shit. The cops just did a drive-by. This is America burning down. Uh, but in a way, don't you think that we deserved it? Uh, creating the country of a foundation of uh, the genocide of one race, the Native Americans, and the enslavement of another. Oh, child Oh, traviolence At sunset The old boys Placing bets On their face And they're jealous because I get more press than they do. That's right. Even they lose all the time. And who cares if you win anyhow? It makes no sense. You've jailed people for suspended driver's licenses, smoking weed, victimless crimes, all that. Driving while black. I mean, you're doing the Lord's work there. So who cares? You should have just do like Donald Trump. It doesn't matter if there's an election. Postpone the election. That's what I would have done if I were you. Just say, screw you to the election. Well, you think it's a... Uh went into a secret room well why not why not he's doing that with the mail so 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 reroute the mail and, and and basically just make it so the democrats can't vote he gave you a pardon why can't he do that i love it when he goes to meet a, a putin or the rocket man it's because he's owning him it's like he's putting a strap on and owning putin getting him getting him getting him strap on boom 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 no no the other reason is is that he goes in the back room now he doesn't yeah. drink or smoke that's where you do a strap but, on yeah you're right i was a director in mexico i used to go in the back room with yeah, noriega strap on. Mm -hmm. but even though you're even though it could be your enemy big black one you too. neutralize him you don't yeah. know what's going on when that's he goes you privately do. strap that how thing on know? there neutralize him i mean we're doing pretty good in an how do we know but they call him a traitor because he talks to putin and no, so no. on He's dominating. He's on top. Putin's a so, sub. Trump, Trump's a dom. What do you think about Antifa? Antifa. Well, they've been after me. I had a, I had a speech at the ASU, and they, a lot of them came to scream at me, spit on me. But I love it. I love, I love uh, You love being spit on? Like, nah, hey, that's great. 
Okay. Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right supremacists. Who would you like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists boys. and right Proud Proud boys. Stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. His this is a left-wing problem. This is a left-wing problem. Ah, the Proud Boys. Let's rewind a couple months. Greg Housh and I had flown up to the Capitol Hill occupied protest in Seattle. And in no time, we stumbled on Tiny Toisi, who had started the riot in Providence. And the dicks on the bus go lamp, 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 <laughs> lamp, 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 lamp. No assault today, Tiny. That's a first. Do you see me? I was just walking to everybody. Propaganda. Did you see me beating up anybody as I was in I'm here? I'm just asking questions, bro. There you go. That's, that, that's my and, answer right there. And there's plenty of videos of you beating, beating up everyone, and you know it, Tiny. And why is that? Because you're a fucking why bastard. And it, it's the fourth state that I've been to that I actually ran into these people, like these specific people, these humans. And uh, in every one of them, they got violent. They started violent. They attacked people. And it was always when those people were not being violent. Uh, you know, it, 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 this whole argument about the violent left falls apart when you stand in front of a proud boy because they throw the first punch. So Antifa is short for anti-fascism. And it basically means if you are against the hate politics of today, if you're against um, the kinds of things that we have seen that just basically pit one community against another in the name of the nation, in the name of freedom, that's fascism. You don't want to be that. You don't want to be about that. And those who aren't about that are anti-fascists. The top bars where all the cops are shooting this stuff out. We got federal riot control CS, which was not used property properly. That is not supposed to happen. So what it causes that? Normally wet conditions because they block up the sticker and stuff right here, and then they bust out the side, which can create shrapnel. It's very dangerous. This is a Han ball. It's like a stinger um, grenade. So they shoot all of these rubber bullets, and also uh, CS tear gas is inside of it. Wait, They're purposely wrong. using it wrong. There's, they threw a canister that I saw personally today that was seven years past its expiration date, which was CS. That turns to cyanide. All right, once again, we're in Portland. If you don't understand how this rolls, uh, basically speeches are given down the other way. People got the, uh, the microphone down there. Everything is chill until the feds start getting on the megaphone and saying, this is a disturbance, it's a riot, all that kind of crap and get the fuck out of here. At which point, this incites the crowd. We uh, throw water bottles and, well then, shit happens. And this is the shit happening. United fucking people, what's your vote and who do you serve? You're stuck upon the side of the nation. You serve the people of the United States. You fucking shoot us. Are you okay? Fuck you, fuck up, fuck, 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 fuck all of you. Welcome to Little Beirut, bitches! Give me a hand, man. Give me a hand. I got your back. I got your back. Let's go. Let's go. Got hit in the fucking dick with one of those things. Fucking. Um, I want to know how your boner is. How are you Very hard. Very hard. Did it make you as hard as the sex workers conference? Yes. Yeah? Would you consider making out with me right now? No, but thank you. I, I'm consensual, of course. Of course, but no. No, but it's consensual. 
Yeah, We're going to consensually make out. No, it's all good. You want to go back to the hotel room? That's possible, but not right here. Consensually? You never know, man. You, you can smear tear gas on each other? That sounds fantastic. Roll around in some jello, maybe? What else? Um, I'm thinking, uh, do you like butter? I love butter. If you don't know him, Andrew is a journalist comedian, so don't feel too bad I was giving him a hard time. The George Floyd protest there had been raging in Portland for weeks, and they showed no sign of easing up. Strangely, it was my attempt to show how peaceful it was in the daytime that was causing an uproar. What is it? What's the party? It was simple, cute, and correct. A producer from Fox News and Ingraham Angle reached out to ask permission to use the video. I replied, fuck Fox News. Back on the East Coast, back the blues slash Trumpers were popping up everywhere, so I met up with my friend Lauren Pespisa, and we began confronting them head on because Jesus fucking Christ, gotta be kidding me with this cop sucking. Lauren also happens to be a housing rights advocate and knew firsthand how COVID was having a devastating impact on people out of work and struggling to get by. So since about March, Massachusetts has had the strongest eviction moratorium in the country, where the housing courts have been completely closed across the state and you cannot get evicted. However, your debt will be built up if you do not pay your rent. And uh, Charlie Baker, our governor, has allowed the eviction moratorium to expire. There are a few state reps who have been pushing for this bill called the uh, Housing Stability Act, which will extend it another year, as well as forgive the rent and help the landlords pay their mortgages. You know, right, like I said about evictions, the eviction straight. moratorium. Yeah, I said, how can you ask a family to be the last family to be evicted before you decide there's enough data yep. to extend the eviction moratorium? See, this is all the more reason why I keep saying we cannot rely on our politicians. We can't, no, we no cannot. Who, what, how this election goes, there's still going to be a problem. Exactly. Whether or not you're not just dealing with fash, but we're just dealing with everyday life. Life. And that's all the more reason why I keep on saying we have to build our own spaces. Yes. We have to maintain our own internet presence. Mutual aid. Without being told, whether, without Facebook telling us that we can have one and right. things like that. I mean, autonomy is important as hell. What's happening, Lauren? Fucking cops have torn down an encampment, decided to put a big old ugly cage around it, and now it looks like they're smashing furniture. I'm Calvin Atwood. I started a protest for the homeless people, and uh, they said they was gonna help us find housing, and we could stay on their property until they did. And this morning it showed up with stadies and cutting people's tents off, cutting people's tents and removing us and we have nowhere to go. You don't have to do what the police tell you. This is sad. The city, the state, does not care about their homeless people. They don't care about people, period, obviously, if they're doing this to their homeless people. Protect and serve? What happened to protect and serve? Oh, please! Oh, 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 that's it. Get off his neck! 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 What did he do? What did he do? He didn't touch anyone. I was dancing the way I dance. I was dancing the way I dance. Cancel taxes! Cancel taxes! Want to tell me about this? Yeah, sure. Just pretty much common sense. If they cancel rent for the next two years, I mean, how are people going to fix anything? So what are you hearing about uh, burning your properties down? When we had the housing crash in 1987, landlords were in dire straits. But back then, some of them did burn, burn down their properties for mortgage insur uh, for insurance payments. Conservatives were becoming increasingly fixated on QAnon and pedophile sex offenders. This breathed new life into groups like NSC 131, Super Happy Fun America, and a QAnon church 
who could be seen openly coordinating with law enforcement with the purpose of terrorizing lefties. Americans don't wear a mask. If there's a virus out there, you take it, you get it in, and you get rid of it. It's the Democratic Party that believes in the Ku Klux Klan. You know that? See that? The Nazi skull on top of the Confederate flag? We are a pro-white, street-oriented fraternity. Why don't you go and give George Soros a blowjob? That's what you want to do. How much is George Soros paying you? How much is Donald Trump paying to stick his dick in your mouth? He doesn't have to. I'll suck his cock any day for free. Because he's such a good guy. Charges that Jeffrey Epstein was running a sex trafficking ring in the early 2000s that included underage girls as young as 14 years old. Donald Trump in 2002 said of Epstein, he's a lot of fun to be with. It's even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. He routinely spoke fawningly of Jeffrey. He admired Epstein's lifestyle. Your daughter, she's beautiful. Can I say this? A piece of it. Too. And actually it. always been very voluptuous. What does Tiffany have of Marlon? She's got Marlon's legs. <laughs> we don't know whether or not she's got this part yet. What do you think about the uh, G. Lane Maxwell papers that came out the other day? Why? Because you're wearing a Trump hat and he went to Pedophile Island. Why is that your business? Because you're wearing a Trump hat. I don't talk to media, so what? Hey, yeah, it seems like you are. I'm free in this country. I got a right to my opinion, right? You're free to associate with pedos. How do you feel about uh, Donald Trump being a pedophile? So, if that's proven to be true, I will not support him. But I feel we don't have enough evidence, just like we don't have enough evidence for Bill Clinton, though I think that would be more. So, I will never support a pedophile. You can get that on Gary. I will never support a pedophile. You're wearing a pedo hat. If you want to come right down to it, a pedophile hat. You're wearing a Donald Trump hat. So you're wearing a pedophile hat. Bill Clinton, you have a good you came day. You do a blue balls rally. That's what, isn't that what it is? It's a pedophile rally? You have a good day. Because 400 years of slavery, and, you know, so they had to ride and loot, and, you know, you got it. Say hello to Stalin for me, will you, buddy? Stalin? How did we get to Stalin? Donald Trump's a creepy, rapey motherfucker. The media is going to distort anything to fit the narrative that they want out there. Um, what's going to get views? What's going to get ratings? Eugene Carroll's the advice columnist who Donald Trump raped in a dressing room in, like, the 90s, and who has been working through the court system, which is corrupt, to continue to press this issue. Rod and Lauren felt that the media would ignore, was ignoring this issue. So they got a whole bunch of props, dicks and pussies, and went to a Trump event. I'm here for Trump, Trump 2020. Trump, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Trump! Cox for Trump. Trump. Get away from me. You can't be up here. It's a public space. Public space. It's a public space. It's a public space. Not today. Why not? So I don't get my First Amendment right today? If you're taking away my First Amendment right, I will fucking put you in bankruptcy. No First Amendment? Fuck you. Trump and his supporters claim to be pro-law and order, but one of those Trumpers had just stolen my $1,000 iPhone, which the police facilitated. As the summer progressed, the attacks and the thefts became more and more frequent, especially when Trump himself started doing rallies again and started to encourage it. Because, you know, Trump loves Epstein. And Trump even flew Lolita Express. And, uh, you know, Pilani was caught here. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Protesters, you know what I say? Protesters, your ass. I don't talk about my ass. They're not protesters. Those aren't pro. Those are anarchists. They're agitators. They're rioters. They're looters. They're not. You know, you say that, and some of the people, not all of them, but some of the people back there. Oh, I dare, how dare you? These are. Friendly protesters, right? I am here with a sign, holding a sign, peacefully. A big sign that states my opinion. That's my right as an American. For them to come at me, grab me by the throat, straight up by the hand, by the throat, and push me down on the ground, 
is violence. And you want to call Antifa violent? Where the fuck is Antifa doing violence right now? All I see is the Trumpers doing violence right now. You guys are shit. Suck. You guys suck. We're not Democrats. You know, not welcome. No hope, no hope. No hope. No hope. No hope. Get off of her. Get off of her. Get off of her. Get off of her. Get You hit my phone, asshole. Fuck you. You're the Fuck violent you. one. Get my fucking face together and violate my. Yeah! Yeah, Jordan! Yeah! <laughs> you gonna get on a woman? Are you okay? Are you okay? Come on, let's go. It's not a good thing the, law, the cops are here. Lauren! 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 What did he do? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you all! You wanna go against Joey Johnson, Kate? You don't care about the First Amendment, you're a bootlicker and a moron. You don't know the law. 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 Hey! Hey! My flag officer, dipshit! Give me my flag officer, dipshit! Oh, good, alright. And for our final art son of the season, the newly dubbed Sacred Church of Antifa Soros Chaos Magic began preparations to tear out a fake heart from the chest of Donald Trump, played by Amber Galen. Yeah, do you want like a ketchup bottle? I think this is a squirt cap. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. There's red spray blood up there I can't reach. That's, what are you talking about? Wow, thanks. Good move. Oh, oh my God. There you go. All right, God, let's look out I'm for, cringing. Uh, the, the <laughs> cringing. Trump don't care about shit, just MAGA. And my cons I mean like, I'm all for you doing whatever anarchy shit you want to do, because obviously I'm doing it too. Right. Um, but my concern is if you get arrested too, I, I can represent myself, but I'm not a proper lawyer that's barred by the American Bar Association, so I can't represent you. And I mean that just... We set ourselves on fire in the middle of Congress. Let's not say we did. Do you want to throw an extra one in my bag? Yeah, take I mean, we don't... I mean, let's figure out how much it takes to dose this first. Right, cool. Let's not do it on the cards. Let's get it. <laughs>
I am Donald J. Trump. And while I am evil, I am no more evil than all these bootlegging politicians out here today. All these cocksuckers over here worship me like a god. So I stand here as a sacrifice for what is right. As above, so below. Kalima! 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 Woo! Die, motherfucker! Uh, uh, everybody! That Donald Trump has hurt in this past four years of president. As above, so below. As above, so below. Pull up magic. Let's go. Kalima! Fuck Donald Trump! Fuck Donald Trump! Fuck Donald Trump! Fuck Donald Trump! And fuck all these all-right white nationalists that keep coming here! Kalima! Kalima! I know, it's fine, don't worry. We do this all the time. Woo! Grace to the chaos gods! Grace to the chaos gods! Fuck the Nazis! Grace to the chaos gods! 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 Fuck the Fuck the Fuck super happy fun America! Fuck super happy fun America! I have blood on my hands, but not as much as Donald Trump! And the sad thing is the media was really, um focus on that second bit. Once it, things were on fire, that's what the media wanted. That's what the media was all over. They were over the speech, they were over the message. They're like, oh, satanic ritual. They, they spun it however they want. Now uh, people think we're Satanists. I'm like, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not, but I mean, we also were fighting for, to do a ritual to help E. Jean Carroll get justice. Antifa members conduct a cult ritual in Boston streets, eat bloody heart, symbolic of Trump. This is like a weird Navajo ghost dance or something. I'm not comparing the Navajo to these scumbags. But, I mean, it, it's literally, they're like, we hate Jesus. We hate America. We love to kill babies. And they're doing all these rituals. And then we see all these powerful organizations admitting they're into rituals and how they're into Satanism. It, it, and now their operating system of good versus evil is really coming out in the open. Here's the video. Then we'll get former Illuminati insider Leo Zagami's take on it. Here it is. Well, the occult uh, has been taken over by the left for a long time in this country. And so we have now Satanists uh, Satanist openly supporting the Democratic Party. Pennsylvania Turnpike, I-76, Ohio. And then something very strange happened. Because of COVID, the Democrats started shutting down rallies. And when I tried to get in, the Secret Service told me to fuck off. Oh, you are violating the First Amendment, my First Amendment rights. The Republicans still wouldn't let me near Trump, but at least they let me yell at Mike Pence. Mike, you're just a bending of interdimensional space maggots! You're a corporate shell and a fucking rabbit homophobe piece of shit! Go fuck yourself! Corporate media called the election in favor of Biden. Joe Biden will win. But things got really weird when the Proud Boys decided they would, quote, stop the steal and now they're trying to steal the election and they're going to lose at that too just wait which states are going to believe just watch how do you cheat uh, you know, us, you know, they got right on there people from each state said there was six thousand of them six thousand white american people want to trump in there and for six thousand white americans who wanted trump they brought out about 6,000 riot cops to protect against the left. It seemed the Trumpsters were getting up their courage by drinking beer and pounding steroids for what was next. This is the Million Shot March!
greatest achievements of humanity are gaining uh, freedom and justice over a very broad range through constant struggle. I do need to fight against this effort to basically suppress the truth. Whether it be your neighbor or a business, you know, next door, it's just be a good person. If you vote local and you pay attention to local politics, um, you will be able to make a difference in your community. The only way that we are going to be able to keep them from going as far as they do is being there to stop them, to being aware, insisting that we push back, you know. Evil can only do what we allow it to do. In the end, life is short, so I went back to painting and settled my lawsuit with Trump. They gave me $20,000 and the Manchester cops got me 15. It's not exactly justice, but it was enough to finish this film. Remember, the unifying narrative is to hang on to hope, but don't you dare let them sell you a Hallmark hope. And if you're married, you can't testify against your spouse. All right, thanks a lot. 2020, it was a hell of a ride. Hell of a year, hell of a movie. Woo! What a dumpster fire. Bye now.